Good evening, everyone. Ashley Bornanson with the Red Carpet Report. Tonight we are in Beverly Hills, where NYU's Tisch School of the Arts is honoring the legendary Oliver Stone at the West Coast Benefit Gala. Report. Nice how are to you? meet you. Well, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I have a job in the business. <laughs> you do. <laughs> it's always a good feeling. <laughs> um, so Tish, we're being, you know, we're honoring everyone from Tish, especially Oliver Stone, and you have been a member of the family. It is probably, I want to say, the hardest school to get into, especially for acting. What it, do you think makes it so prestigious? Well, I think it's a very hard school to get into because. Uh, the, the alumni have had a great education, both at the undergraduate and graduate level. The professors, the associate professors, the entire faculty, under the great leadership and guidance of Dean Campbell, are training these students who are really going to get a degree and with their degree, it's it's very, very important. The transition from Tisch to the entertainment business is, um, is very, very special. There are more Tisch graduates who have participated in one way or another in the top 500 movies in the history of Hollywood than from any other school in the world. So just that statistic alone makes me very, very proud. So what do you think makes Tish so special in transitioning into the industry? Do you think, think it has a lot of connections or? No, I don't think it has a lot of connections, but I think a degree, whether it's you know an undergraduate degree or a graduate degree, gives the student or the graduate tremendous, tremendous credibility. If as a em potential employer, I see that you've gone to Tish, I know you've had a great education You've worked very hard, you're very creative, you're very dedicated, and probably most important, you're very passionate about your education and the, uh, the fields in the business that you want to go into. I know you're for real. <laughs> I feel like you're telling me this. I'm like, I got a degree too. <laughs> That's awesome. And you've produced a number of movies as well. You. <laughs> well, some of my favorites, one of my favorites, Hope Springs. Um, what would you, what kind of advice would you want to give to aspiring filmmakers? Uh, I think it all starts with the screenplay. I think the screenplay has to be the blueprint for the movie. It's about characters, it's about relationships, it's about characters who you care about. You have to like the people on screen, you have to understand them, you have to understand their successes and their failures, and the relationships these three-dimensional characters create between each other is very, very important. If you really look at most of the movies, I hope most of the movies that I produce, it all starts with great characters. I've never done a big special effects picture. I've never produced you know, a big period piece with thousands of extras. They've all really been character driven and character based. So for me and my partners, it all starts with the script. Do you have your actors in mind ahead of time? Very rarely. There's been a couple of exceptions. In the case of Pursuit of Happiness, we knew that we were writing that specifically for Will Smith. In the case of uh, Risky Business, that was just open to casting, and fortunately we found this young kid who at 19 was perfect for the part, and I, Tom Cruise. Yes. What's his name? <laughs> so, you know, you never know, but once in a while, you do write for a specific actor or actress. There's a project we hope to shoot next year that is being written specifically for Jennifer Lawrence. And she's committed to the picture, so the writer knows she is the lead in that movie. Do you have a title for it yet? The title is being uh, kept secret. Okay. Are well, we talking another, story Another line? example, I've got a movie that we just finished shooting in Boston called The Equalizer that was specifically written for Denzel Washington. And that'll be out in September. Wow. So what has kept your spirit throughout the industry? How do you think you've been able to have such success after success? Uh, you know, very simply stated, I love what I do. I love it as much today as I did when I started work at Columbia Pictures on November 5th, 1971. 
So almost 42 years later, I still have the same passion, the same love of the business, and the same energy that I did 42 years ago to be involved in great movies. Thank you so much. I think that's the key. Thanks for watching the Red Carpet Report. If you like this video, be sure to like it. For more interviews, subscribe. And leave me a comment below telling me what's your favorite Oliver Stone movie. The show's starting, so that's my cue.